itself. Action is required to make change happen in the world. It doesn't just automatically happen because you want it to. The real law of attraction is natural law on slide number 84 now. And my working definition for natural law is the universal, non-man-made, binding and immutable con conditions that govern the consequences of behavior. We've talked about this endlessly on this show. I'll just briefly go over this. Universal. It exists everywhere in creation. There's nowhere it is not operating. It's non-man-made. That means it is inherent to creation itself. Man didn't make up these laws. Creation made these laws. They're boundary conditions to the universe. Binding. That means they're operating at all places, all times. You are bound by them. Whether you understand them, agree with them, know about them, or are ignorant about them, it doesn't matter. Belief is irrelevant. They are binding. It's just like gravity. doesn't matter how much you know about gravity. Whether you believe it exists, you're bound by it. The end. Same thing with natural law. Immutable. That means they cannot be changed. They weren't put into effect by man. Therefore, they cannot be changed by man. They're not negotiable. They are, you're bound by them, it's unchangeable, and that's it. The, they govern the consequences of human behavior. These are boundary conditions that govern what actually occurs as a result of what free will decisions we make and then what actions we take as a result of those decisions. That's how natural law operates. And again, the seminar will be going into this very in-depth, giving many examples and many um, related um, works for people to study as well. So the expressions of natural law, which we've talked about, and I'll go through these quickly, are a positive expression and a negative expression. When we work with a certain polarity, and again, this is on slide 85, when we work with a certain generative polarity, either the positive one or the negative aspect, we're going to eventually create a specific result in our lives. If we work with the positive expression of the generative polarity called love, we will seek truth and acquire knowledge. This is how the expression begins. It's what I call the initiative expression in the positive sense. Seeking truth and acquiring knowledge. When we do that, we move toward an internal expression within ourselves of natural law. And this is called sovereignty. We already talked about what sovereignty is. It's the recognition that you are not a slave, that you own and rule yourself. And it's, it's even more than that. It's about coming into internal harmony with the self amongst the expressions of your consciousness, unifying your thoughts, emotions, and actions such that you are a being that as you think, so you feel, and so you act. And you're not internally divided. You become an individual, non-divided. This is the state that I call internal monarchy, being the one ruler of the self, monarch. Mon, meaning one, and archon, meaning ruler, from Greek. And we'll look at that, that word soon. Sovereignty is the truth about what everyone is, what all beings are. We are sovereign. We don't have a ruler, a master, nor do we have slaves. When you understand sovereignty, you understand the inherent legitimacy of slavery, the inherent illegitimacy of slavery. <clears throat> there is no legitimacy to slavery ever, ever. You are already sovereign. You are not a slave. It's just the problem is most people don't know that, don't understand it. They don't even know what the word sovereign means. When we have that knowledge within, when we've taken in that knowledge and we've actually unified ourselves from within, an, an external expression flows in the external realm or in the society that we live in called freedom, which is called external anarchy what I call external anarchy. Real freedom is external anarchy. Anarchy means no rulers. And we'll break down that word later. No rulers. An meaning none, or not there, not present. Archon meaning ruler. 
when we develop that true condition in the world, there is order. That's the result. That's the generative expression, the result, the manifestation. It's what we would call good in the world. If we use the opposite polarity, which is fear, fear makes us close down. See, love is the expansive force of consciousness that opens our mind and our heart and allows us to seek and accept truth and therefore acquire knowledge. Fear is the force that shuts down consciousness, keeps us not wanting to know, and therefore refusing truth and staying in the initiative expression of natural law in the negative sense called ignorance. Ignorance, as I like to call it. We are ignoring that which is there, thinking that we're going to prosper by ignoring the truth and saying we don't care, we don't want to know. Impossible. There is no such thing as a free people that are ignorant people. Impossible. Those two states cannot exist simultaneously. Ignorance and freedom. It's impossible. When you're ignorant, you're going into a cage. You're going into enslavement. Because you've refused truth. That's the reason. When you refuse truth, you cannot be acting rightly. And there's a reason. Because inside, we're in a state of confusion. In ignorance, when you're in a state of ignorance in the mind, inside, you're confused. You don't know what the reality is. You don't know what the truth is. You don't know what's really going on, either inside you or in the world. And this is internal anarchy. That means inside of you, there's no ruler. And that's a bad thing. We don't want internal anarchy. We want external anarchy. Internal anarchy is a really bad thing. You can never get external anarchy if there's internal anarchy. You can only get external anarchy if there's internal monarchy amongst the population, which is an understanding of their sovereignty. When there's internal confusion, external control follows. The external expression in the negative. It's called control. Externally being controlled by others. Violence being done, in other words. Control is the same thing as violence. Freedom is the same thing as non-aggression. So when people say, I want non-aggression, I want there to be non-violence, the only way you can do that is with these positive expressions. You can never create it with refusal of truth. You're only going to get violence by refusing truth. That's why we have the situation we have. The majority of our society refuses truth, and so we're getting violence in our society. Because we don't know the truth and we're not teaching it to others. Control is what I call external monarchy. Somebody wanting to rule over others. Monarch. One ruler. When it's external, it's very bad and it's based in violence. So when that's, <clears throat> when that's the external expression, <clears throat> the result, the manifestation... The generative expression at the end is chaos. It's the opposite of order. It's what we would call evil. We say we want order, we say we want goodness, but we're not using the polarities that we need to to get those things. Nobody's going to tell you I want chaos and evil in the world and I want to suffer. I want violence done unto me and I want to suffer and I want there to be evil and chaos all around me. Not one person is going to tell you that that's what they want. But they think that they can get the absence of that, okay? They think they can get the opposite of that, which is order and good and freedom, by continuing to stay in fear, which is having a shutdown consciousness, and stay in ignorance, which is the refusal of truth. And, and it doesn't work that way. If you are using the polarity, uh, the, the generative polarity at the top, you can never create anything on the opposite side. So if you're using love, you can only create knowledge, sovereignty, freedom, order, and goodness. If you're using fear, you can only create ignorance, confusion, control, chaos, and evil. They never move into the opposite column. It's just straight down mechanism. Understand that. More people need to understand how this process works. They don't get it. They don't understand that that's how natural law functions in the world. 
This is, again, the most occulted information. This is what dark occultists do not want people to understand. 